Hey, what's going on? This is Matt Plapp, one of the ROI experts at Driven Media Solutions. And I figured I'd give you a much better scenery than myself this video. I am camping on the beautiful AJ Jolly Lake in Northern Kentucky with my son. And I wanted to come at you with a tip. It goes social media wise as well as event wise. And this lake is a good place to talk about it because this is a place that we did exactly what I'm going to talk about. And the comment I posted on this is go where your customers are. And what I mean by that is two things, events as well as digitally. And let's talk about events first. So I shared a post yesterday about tailgating ideas that companies have incorporated into their business plan to get in front of customers from selling at the tailgates to just branding. Well, tailgating was a good one because I've been involved in that. Our boat and RV dealership sponsored a tailgating event with the Cincinnati Bengals and 700 WLW with an ATV with the Miller Lite girls it got a lot of great exposure. So tailgating events like that are huge. But this lake brings it home because when we were in the boat business, back in 99, we got into camper business, my family and I. And in 2002, we got into selling fishing boats. Now, what's unique is that none of us were fishermen for the most part. My dad is the only one that really was hardcore in fishing and doing that kind of things. But we got into that business because we saw an opportunity. Well, within about six months of seeing that opportunity and having the fishing boat dealership, I realized there were fishing events, fishing tournaments. This lake, AJ Jolly, hosted fishing tournaments. And I went to a fishing tournament, and I saw that there was no business present there. There's people there with fishing gear, with boats, with boat repair, parts service, accessories, you name it. There was no business with a presence there. So what did we do? We bought a trailer that was 40 to 5 feet, I believe, 48 feet that we made a fishing store and had a stage on it so these tournaments could do their events on the trailer on the stage and we had a store inside they could buy accessories and gear but the only reason that trailer was there wasn't for those purposes it was there because it was covered in our logo imagine this giant trailer like this but in bright yellow with our logo all over it in front of 20 to 30 to 40 fishermen sometimes two to three hundred at certain events basically from march till november every year and I bring that up because there's a lot of craft brewing events that I don't see breweries at. In Cincinnati, every weekend there's a different beer event. And there's a lot of breweries, a couple I'm involved with, that have drugged their feet on getting there. And a couple that think that they're a waste of time. You know what? You need to go where your customers are. Guess who's at a craft beer event? Craft beer drinkers. If you're not there, maybe they think something's wrong. Maybe they don't know about you. So you got to get out. The second part of the equation is digitally. Think about where your customers are digitally, what they're looking at, what they're following. You know, I, I had a seminar I went to in San Diego two weeks ago where one of the speakers was talking about Grant Cardone, a huge sales trainer. And his clientele that he sells to are similar to Grant's clientele. So when he runs his Facebook ads, he targets people in the same demographic that follow Grant Cardone. And guess what? He gets a lot of business from Grant Cardone followers. So when you think about your clientele, where are your customers digitally? Are your beer drinkers following certain other brands? Are they following national brands? Are they following pro sports teams? Are they following uh, car brands? So think about going where your customers are going in person, like Great Lakes like this, if there's a fishing event or a barbecue event or whatever might speak to the people that you want to speak to, that they're here following it and they're going to have some affinity for your brand when you're here and you can make some money. But also think about digitally, how can you reach your customers online? Who else are they following? And the old saying is, go where the money is. Go where the customers are. That's all I've got. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know any questions you have. Got a video I'm working on tomorrow as well. And then next week, I'm going to actually do a whiteboard video where I break down deal sites, Groupon, Living Social, the radio stations, because I keep hearing from a lot of you that they're awesome or they're terrible or you need advice. And you know what? It can be either or. It's just a matter of how you do it, when you do it, and if you plan for it correctly. So that's all I've got, Matt Plapp. I am back to a little relaxation by AJ Jolly Lake. See you later.